We haven't talked about statins at all. So why are we having a tutorial on their use in the elderly? It's a good example of the importance of background risk. Why is it contentious? There's a possibility of a survivor effect. You get reverse gradients between so-called risk factors and outcomes. Tell us about cholesterol and risk in the oldest old. Here's the graph in people aged over 80. For cardiovascular deaths, there's no relation. For total mortality, there is a difference, but it's in the opposite direction to what you expected. The higher the cholesterol, the lower the risk. So if you've got to the age 80 without vascular disease, you're probably not vulnerable to the cholesterol level. Exactly. Does that mean we shouldn't use statins in the elderly? No, it only means you shouldn't use the cholesterol level to decide. You mean there may be effects beyond the cholesterol level? Yes, these are known as pleiotropic effects. But that's another tutorial. So in which older people do you use statins? Those with established atheroma, such as previous coronary event, carotid or aortic disease. So where does age fit in your algorithm? Not at all. So why do risk calculators include age? It's the main driver to background risk in all studies. 10 years of age is more or less equivalent to cigarette smoking in causing vascular events. Well, most guidelines suggest treatment when background risk is over 2% per year. You need a lesser degree of risk factors at older ages. It's based on the idea of a constant percentage reduction across all levels of treatment. Isn't that a good starting point? Yes, but you could argue for a constant number of cases prevented instead. It depends on your causal model. Explain. Uh-huh. With percent reduction, there could be a law of diminishing returns. And this may not be unique to age. It might apply to multiple risk factors as well. Okay. Uh, do the trial data support this? The data in the elderly are few. They are consistent with either argument. Let's see. There was one trial of statins restricted to patients over 70. The benefit of treatment was largely driven by the subgroup with pre-existing vascular disease. The results in primary prevention are at the bottom. They did not reach statistical significance. Yes, but the study was underpowered. There could still be an effect on coronary events in older patients. Is it likely to be a big effect? The absolute risk reduction was about 2 per 100 over 3 to 4 years. How does that compare to younger people? It's similar to the pooled results from all the cholesterol treatment trials at age 65 to 75. So, isn't that worthwhile? It means 98% of the time, treatment achieved nothing in that time frame. And all cause mortality wasn't reduced. At this age, you might just trade one cause of death for another. You can't stop the clock. And heart disease brings you the wonderful gift of sudden death. Yes, I don't want to take that away.